Welcome to Living the Country Life. I'm Betsy Freeze. Today I'm going to give you a few tips on growing strawberries, one of my favorite gardening jobs. This is my strawberry garden. As you can see, I have four rows of strawberries. Each row was planted a different year. I plant 50 plants of strawberries that I order in the spring. This row would be five years old, four, three, and two years old. Now when these are done producing this season, I'm going to run over all of these rows with a lawn mower. It'll look like you're killing the berries, but you're really not. What you do is you set your lawn mower on the highest setting, and then you just run over the rows, and that's called renovating the beds. They will produce a lot of uh, leaves and foliage, and the next year they'll be even more productive by doing that. Now the row that's the oldest, which has been producing for four years now, we're going to go in and tear that row out completely because it is past its productive life. And next year I will plant new strawberries in that row. The first year that you plant strawberries, you do not want to let them make a berry. So when you plant your berries, weed them, keep them in a row, and when they form what's called a blossom, you want to pick that blossom off so that they do not form a berry. Once they get to be two years old, then you can allow them to form a berry. The reason strawberries are called strawberries is because you mosh them with straw. In the fall, when you get a hard freeze, usually around the end of November, you would cover your berries with straw. And then in the spring, when it warms up to about 70 degrees, maybe uh, around the 1st of April, you would take the straw off of the berries and put it in the middle of your row to use as weed control. Another tip I want to share with you involves runners. Now runners are what the strawberry plant sends out to the side and if you let these runners go out to the side of your plants they will just make a solid mass of strawberries and then you won't be able to get in to pick. So you want to take these runners and you want to pull them to the side so that they always stay in a row and that will make it easier to pick. The variety I've planted in my garden is called Early Glow and it's a variety that produces berries very early, about the last week of May, and the berries are very sweet. And the best part about growing strawberries is picking and eating them. 